A new report shows Northeast Wisconsin's aging veteran population is not getting the care they need. Now a new veteran's honor home could be coming to the Fox Valley. NBC 26's Raquel Lamal is live at a local VFW with what this could mean. Stacy, this is where many veterans come to gather on a regular basis, but as they age, options become more limited. But now there could be a new option for veterans for end-of-life care that takes care of their specific and unique needs coming right here to Northeast Wisconsin. In Kakana, Richard Pomeroy attending a Veterans Day ceremony with about 100 other people. It really, it really warms a heart to find out that people really care. That care is spreading far and wide. Today in Appleton, the Veterans Honor Home Task Force announcing their findings from a study lasting more than a year. They designed a Veterans Village concept to fit four specific areas of lacking, enhancing veterans admissions currently in place, providing special training for staff, be more proactive with getting information to vets about end-of-life care, and build an honor home. In our studies, we have not found one like this concept of a veterans village anywhere in the country. Nothing's finalized yet, but a site is already being eyed up from the Department of Veteran Affairs. They really like the site, they like the location of the Fox Valley Technical College. The Honor yeah. Home would be built near the Tech College so vets could get educational services and near the VA clinic for health care. It's finally something that needs in the area. An idea that's needed as what could be the nation's largest group of veterans ages. The Outagamie County Housing Authority says in the next few months they're hoping to submit a request for a proposal to furnish a building that would possibly meet the state's need for veteran end-of-life care. Live in Howard, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.